Hey guys, my name is Chris Parachi. Welcome to Guitar Tweaks. Today, we're not going to be tweaking. What we'll do instead is talk about humbuckers. This is five important things everyone should know about humbuckers. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my videos. That helps me a lot. Thanks in advance. Also, don't forget about the description box under the video. If you open it up, you'll find signal chain, timestamps, uh, gear links, additional infos, all that cool stuff. And now let's get into fact number one. Humbuckers with unbalanced coils are not faulty or worse than humbuckers with identical coils. They're actually awesome and they have more pros than cons. So what am I talking about? Humbuckers have two single coils. If the two coils have different outputs because of different number of windings, etc., we're talking about a humbucker with unbalanced coils. I read some interesting stuff on forums over the years. And, uh, and we also had this customer at Toman in the guitar workshop. Um, he came in and he wanted us to measure a couple of pickups for him. He wanted to buy pickups, humbuckers, that had two identically strong coils. And he told, he knows this for a fact from professionals, whatever, that all humbuckers that don't have a perfectly identical, um, like matched set of coils are faulty and just crap. And I don't know, they are sort of bee stocks or whatever. Well, no. As a matter of fact, most of the original humbuckers, the old PAFs from the 50s and 60s, uh, are unbalanced. I'm not sure if this was a conscious decision from Gibson uh, or it just sort of happened because they were not that picky back then and they didn't want to make sure that the num number of wines are perfectly matched each and every time. I'm not sure. Those are still the most beloved humbucker types and the most copied humbucker designs. So what are the pros of humbuckers with unbalanced coils? First of all, they will have more open high end, less compression, and they will have a very usable and sort of louder coil split sound. Because if you split a humbucker, the louder coil will stay or remain active and the quieter will go to ground and will be silenced. So what it does is that the volume drop when you split uh, an unbalanced coiled humbucker, it's gonna be smaller, which is pretty cool because I get this question quite a lot. How can I sort of prevent this uh, from happening? When I split a coil, my guitar becomes so quiet. Well, it's hard to work against it with simple solutions, but if you have a pickup that has a pretty unbalanced uh, pair of coils, you will not have this issue that much. Cons. Well, there's just one. This hum cancelling, this noise cancelling effect of humbuckers will be just a little bit milder. So if you have a humbucker where the coils are very unbalanced, uh, you will have way less hum cancellation than if both coils were exactly the same.
Number two, unwaxed humbuckers are not worse than modern waxed pickups. They just have different strengths, right? So this is something you will see on forums quite often. People laughing at unwaxed uh, pickups and just complaining how unusable they are. And most of these people are high game players and in many cases sort of younger players, which is all cool because obviously if you're a high game player playing lots of gain with loud amps, you want to go waxed humbucker. You really don't want to have an unwaxed pickup in your guitar because it will feed back way earlier and you'll have this squealy noise and whatever. So yeah, that's clearly the con, the drawback of unwaxed humbuckers. But what are the pros then? Well, first of all, the dynamic range of an unwaxed pickup is on a different level. It's just how it is. You have a different attack, you will have different compression, which brings me to the second big, big pro, and that's this natural and clear sounding clean and low gain sound. Number three, high output humbuckers are not always better for heavy music. A few years ago, all heavy rock and metal players were only interested in active or high output passive pickups. Luckily, this seems to change and quite a few awesome heavy players started using medium output pickups instead. Here's why in most cases, you don't need a hot pickup. Back in the days when they came out with the super distortion and similar really hot pickups, they just didn't have modern high gain amps, right? They needed super hot pickups to make those old Marshalls, Voxes, high watts and similar amps sound any heavy. In the 90s, everyone was playing or wanted to play <laughs> Amazing Boogie Rectifier, but since those amps are pretty muddy, many went for EMG pickups. And that's clearly where it makes a lot of sense to go for a hot active pickup. Nowadays though, we have all the tight high gain amps we want. We have all the gain in the world. Fact is, if you don't need hot pickups to get even more gain out of your rig, you're better off with medium or even lower output humbuckers. Those will give you more articulation and dynamics, whether it's active or passive. Number four, you can adjust humbuckers way closer to the strings than singer coils without having that magnetic interference that can cause tuning issues, a weird sound, and of course the loss of sustain. The magnetic field of humbuckers is different and unless you have a very high output humbucker, you can experiment with pickup height way more freely than with singer coils in a Strat. The pickup height determines the guitar's tone and changes the EQ a lot and also the compression and everything, so it's highly recommended experimenting with it. Number five, adjusting the pole pieces of humbuckers can make a big difference in tone. I won't go too deep here because I made a video about it. It's going to be linked right over here. 
I think it's really interesting and it's definitely worth checking out. So if you missed it, there you go. What's important to know about it is that if you raise the pull pieces for one of the coils, you will make the humbuckers coils more and more unbalanced, right? One coil is going to be louder than the other, which will change the magnetic field and it will change the dynamics, the reaction of the pickup and the voicing, like the EQ of the pickup. So um, what is cool if you raise these uh, pull pieces, you'll get more top end, more dynamics, um, a bit more spanky sound. So if you're missing something like that in your humbucker, try this one for sure. <laughs> And I also have a plus one, which is pickup covers, humbucker covers do change the pickup's sound. I've, I also have a video on this subject, so I will not want to repeat myself again. You can check it out. All I want to add to my video on this subject is that the material of the cover makes a big difference, right? So uh, a couple of people commented actually like, yeah, but you can get these vintage correct uh, covers, this and that, company sells them, whatever, and those will not change the sound because that's what Set Lover also designed to use with the PF pickups. Um, and I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that there are covers that will barely or not at all change the pickup sound, whether they're on or off. Fact is that most of the modern pickups you will get with covers will sound different with the covers than if you removed the cover, right? So if you have the cover on, it's going to sound a bit more warm and classier and whatever. If you have the cover off, you'll have more top end, more spank and just a different experience. One more thing to add to this material matters subject is that Seth Lover also told in a number of interviews that he really didn't want Gibson to sell the PAF pickups with uh, gold plating because he knows that gold will make your pickup sound more dull and he didn't want that. So then they figured out a way how to minimize this effect of a gold plating and uh, it seems to work because I don't know how many millions of guitar players have gold hardware in the guitars and they love them still so whatever it's just the fact that um, certain materials will have a bigger impact on the sound so if you have covers made of those materials you will have this effect obviously way more and now i want to hear your opinion on this whole thing was there anything that wasn't clear in this video just let me know maybe i can help with it uh, or is there anything i didn't mention and you think everyone should know it about humbuckers I think it would be really cool to read all that in the comment section below. So see you down there. You guys take it easy. Have a fantastic week and um, I'll be back. Bye bye.